Hello everybody. Um, my name is Natalie Haley and I'm part of the ARIA team at Instruct Eric. As part of Corbel Work Package 5, which covers user access, we're facilitating the proposal submission process, peer review and visit management for Corbel projects using our bespoke access management software, ARIA, which stands for Access to Research Infrastructure Administration. Most of you watching this webinar should have already registered for an ARIA account. Um, ARIA currently supports user authentication via either an ARIA account, an umbrella ID, which probably none of you have, or uh, via institutional accounts for institutions using Edugain. So I've got a little example for you here, using University of Oxford as an example, institutional access, um, if you use an institutional access, it's got the advantage that you can use the password you use for that rather than making a new one and having to remember it. Um, and accounts can be linked during registration or afterwards. In ARIA, we use standardized terms in our workflow. Some of these terms are summarized on this slide. The word review is reserved exclusively for the process you're involved in, the scientific peer review of a submitted proposal. The word evaluation is reserved for technical evaluation, although this is also a kind of review. This is where the service provider comments on the technical feasibility of the proposal, including the availability of requested resources. The moderator in your case will be Marie, Frauke or Serena. The selected moderator's role within the proposal is to select appropriate reviewers, oversee the process of scientific peer review and ultimately decide based on these reviews whether a proposal will be accepted or rejected. The proposal you've been asked to review will have one moderator assigned to it and the moderator should be your first port of call for any queries relating to the proposal. Service technology is the name given to the service a user selects to apply for in their proposal and as already mentioned in a Corbel proposal there must be at least two service technologies requested from two different research infrastructures. Access or visit, um, this is related to service technology and it refers to the use of a service technology by a user. So each visit, as we've heard before, is given a unique identifier, a VID. And again, a Corbel proposal will have to have at least two visits in two different research infrastructures. Service providers are the people who run the service technology. They will provide the technical evaluation of the proposal after you've performed your scientific peer reviews and will manage the visit to their service technology when it is approved. Users should already be in contact with the service providers, as Frauke mentioned, as they requested for their Corbel technologies. So here is an overview of the workflow in ARIA, and it's very similar to the workflow that Marie showed you in her slides. Uh, first of all, the user submits the proposal into the ARIA system. The proposal is then allocated a unique identifier called a proposal ID, um, PID. This is slightly different from the visit ID we mentioned before. The proposal is then allocated with a single moderator, which selects three peer reviewers who perform the scientific review. That's you. And they assess the proposal as a whole. And as we mentioned, each proposal will have at least two visits associated with it. For each of these visits, there will then be a technical evaluation. So um, each proposal will be assessed technically for each individual visit. So at least two technical evaluations will take place. The service providers then arrange and schedule the visit or arrange the remote provision of the service if it's not one where a user will actually visit the facility. Um, they mark the visit as completed and note the number of days or equivalent effort that the visit required. After completion, feedback is requested both from the user and from the service provider. So in this webinar, we're focusing on the aspect of scientific review and how to perform this using the ARIA software. First of all, you need to locate the ARIA admin panel. When you've logged into ARIA via structuralbiology.eu website or any of our websites, you should see a bar at the bottom of the screen whilst on any of our pages. In this case, we're on the proposal submission page um, so I'll start a little video for you here. If you click on the central button in the bar labelled your admin, it will take you to the admin pages. The menu on the left hand side should help you to navigate through these admin pages. The menu is split into five tabs 
And the tab which contains the options to do with the proposals is the second tab with a picture of a box. So you can see that's the current tab open. When you click on a tab, how much you're able to see will depend on your role in the ARIA system. If your role is a reviewer, then your menu will display like this. If you're also a moderator, you might see additional options in the table. So what you need to do is select access proposals, and then when that opens, select review proposals, and this will take you to the proposal review page. On the summary page, you will see any proposals you've been allocated to review in the top table, and any proposals that you've reviewed in the past in the bottom table. Here in this example, there are no previously reviewed proposals, so that bottom table is empty. At the point at which you're selected to review a proposal, ARIA will automatically send you an email like this one. This email will contain a simple, direct, one-click link to the page on which you must enter your review. This page can also be navigated to in the, nav the admin panel of ARIA, but this link provides a convenient navigation from your email inbox. Be careful to make sure that this doesn't end up in your spam. Clicking on the link will take you to a page like this one uh, with the review form that Maria and Frauke have explained earlier in this webinar. The form is on the left-hand side of the page and the guidelines for filling in the form are on the right-hand side for reference. The guidelines for these particular review forms are specific to Corbel, so if you do happen to use ARIA to review for any other access routes, such as iNext or Instruct, the form and guidelines will differ, but the layout of the page should be the same. As I have mentioned, the email link is not the only way to reach the proposal review page. You can also navigate to the same page from the review summary page we were on previously. So that's what I'm back on this slide for now. The far right column in the top table showing proposals to review is labeled actions. It shows you a selection of actions you're able to perform on that proposal in a drop down with a highlighted option, in this case, review proposal as the primary button. To view all options for that proposal, click the down arrow on the button, or if you want to perform the highlighted option, simply click the main button. So I'll show you a little video of that now. There we go, and select review proposal. This takes you to the same page. Buttons like this appear throughout ARIA in the admin panel, and the single key option, the one most likely to be used, followed by a drop down selector of other options. So if you don't instantly see what you're looking for, click the drop down to see if it's in the addition options. So of course, to perform the review, you need to view the proposal itself and export or print it sometimes. And this can be done from the review summary page and from the review page for a particular proposal. From the review summary page, click the drop down action column that we just mentioned beside the proposal you wish to view and click the option view proposal. So there's a little animation. Uh, drop down menu, view proposal. A window will appear with all of the proposal form fields completed by the applicant. Proposal form field names are shown in bold larger text and responses in smaller text. Please note that if a proposal field name does not appear, there's no response to this field by the applicant. Not all fields are required fields in the submission form. So here you're seeing um, the proposal being exported and printed. Um, there's buttons in the top right hand side to open the proposal in a new window or to print it. And to close it, click the cross in the corner. So that's basically it. Um, you fill in the form according to the guidelines. As you can see, there's also a view proposal button on this page, the page to review a particular proposal for your convenience, which acts in exactly the same way as viewing the proposal from the summary page. When you're happy with your review, you click the submit response button at the bottom of the review form. As the warning on the page states, this can't be undone. So if you need to change anything about your response, this has to be done manually at our end. So if you really need to contact aria at structuralbiology.eu will provide that email later in the webinar as well. In our example here, we're accepting the project from for Corval Access and submitting the review. So once you've completed the review, um, we see that it's removed from the table proposals to review and added to the previously reviewed proposals table. We're now able to view other scientific reviews and technical evaluations once they've been completed. 
using a tool called um, proposal scores. This is accessed using the drop down in the actions column in the same way we've seen many times now. So I'll play a little video of that again, just to be ultra clear. Uh, so in this example, we're the only reviewer to have reviewed. So you see our, our column is the third column and nobody else has submitted anything. So the rest of the form is empty. Please be aware that proposal scores will be available to other reviewers, other service providers and to the applicant, but only the people associated with this particular proposal. So the service providers of visits they've applied for. Your name will be anonymized in these cases. Moderators and administrators will see non-anonymized reviewer names in proposal scores. So that's Marie, Frauke, Serena, and the ARIA team. If you need further help with ARIA, the first place to look should be our help guide pages, which contain a number of guides on performing actions in ARIA. We'll also be publishing these webinars, as already mentioned, so you can view them again. We also gave a more top-down overview of ARIA as part of the Corbell webinar series earlier this year, which is worth a look at if you're interested. And this webinar can be found on the Corbell website or on the Instruct website. If you can't find what you need, then please contact us. Um, our email address is on the screen now uh, with any queries, anything related to ARIA, we'll do our best we can to help. Uh, so ARIA is not perfect and we do come across bugs in our system. So if you do notice anything wrong, please let us know so we can fix it. Bug reports should be sent to the same address um, and the more information you can provide us with, the better, so we can diagnose, reproduce, and try and fix your issues. If you can give us screenshots, full URLs of pages you're on when problems occur, and error messages, all of this information is extremely help helpful to us.